Hello and um <coughs> let's try that again, shall we? Hello and welcome to uh, the next Lucosa retro uh, game review video. And in this case, I really have chosen a classic in every sense of the word. Uh, this is Wizball, um, written by Sensible Software and released by Ocean. And this came out in, it was either 86 or 87, this one. And it is quite simply one of the greatest shooter ups ever created, I think. Um, depending on my mood, I think this is the best shooting up on a Commodore 64. Um, it's really a sort of toss up between two titles as to which I think is the best uh, C64 shooter. It's either this or <coughs> if I'm in the mood for something a little bit different then it's Revenge 2. And yes I will be doing a video of that uh, somewhere down the line. Uh, music by Martin Galway. Um, he really, you know, once again provides a seriously good uh, uh, musical soundtrack for this game with uh, really uh, two main themes and a series of jingles throughout. Uh, it's not quite as good as his music for Miami Vice, but then you can't expect someone to be doing that kind of. Uh, know standard every single time if only we could <coughs> so uh, let's get this out of the way and show you what it's all about now there are nine uh, different realms uh, within the game and they've all had the color drained out of them that's why they're all just this gray and white everywhere and the idea of the game is to uh, put the colour back into each of the uh, nine different uh, realms. Now this video has the potential to go seriously tits up at the start here, so uh, let's see how we do. <coughs> now to start with, uh, your whiz ball, which is actually controlled by a wizard who's sitting inside it, is very difficult to manoeuvre, and especially if I get that fucking thing coming along because I'm taking way too long to actually do anything. I'm amazed I got away with that when my ball is completely uncontrollable. This is what I mean about this game possibly getting off to a real tits up start. Because there are eight uh, uh, targets at the moment in this level, and I haven't found any of them. And it's supposed to get you off here's one, get you off to a, a, an easy start, so that you can get the necessary power-ups to uh, make your whiz ball at least controllable. So we got one quick waggle of the joystick, and now, although it's still bouncing, it's supposed to be a bit more controllable. Here we are. All right. Now, a quick waggle, and now we can actually move it around as normal. So, uh, what I tend to do next is to get this one. Now, this is the catalyte that uh, will follow you around, and if you hold down the fire button, you can then move the catalyte around. And you need that to pick up the uh, various paint droplets that you have to collect in order to uh, colour in each level. So after a rather dubious start, we're actually getting somewhere. Now the game really begins in earnest, with uh, various waves uh, coming along trying to blast you. Fuck me, that was close. <laughs> and these are the paint droplets. So, fire away, and uh, then send your catalyte in to pick them up. Now you need to be a bit careful, because sometimes they will drop um, droplets of different colours which have various, uh, um, shall we say, abilities, not all of them good. So you, you need to watch out a bit there. Uh, these 
things are being a pain in the ass, right? Let's see if we can get past them. There we can. <laughs> didn't, almost didn't get past those though. Oh, I am really making a meal of this. I'm not usually this bad. Now, uh, you can see on this level I'm picking up uh, the red paint chops, and as you can see by the uh, fourth cauldron uh, furthest away, it is red that I need to uh, collect first of all as the first colour for uh, recolouring this landscape. So, um, we shall uh, do that. I don't want that orb to go off screen because once it does it then disappears. Right, we'll get that because that is quite handy that one. Now I have like this spray fire. But what I actually like to do is uh, give that to the uh, catalyte so that's my next... Uh... Alright, so that's... Uh, that wave sorted out. There are now 52 more uh, well, enemies as such to uh, finish off in this level, hopefully. Oh, I only need like one or two more paint drops, only one. Right, so I've got the first uh, colour done, now we get this very long winded, drawn out uh, bonus stage. Um, I mean, it does give you the chance to pick up more uh, power ups, but. Yeah, I'm really not sorry that uh, I get destroyed quite early on in this one. So the uh, wizard now uh, adds the colour in. Some people say that it looks like he's doing something else. This section also allows you to pick up a permanent uh, power-up, which I have done. So that now if I lose a life, I will start with... Uh, one particular power-up to begin with and after each level you're able to choose a uh, new power-up that you'll start off with. Now a useful little trick is that uh, if you hide behind the uh, horizon like so um, then the uh, shots that the uh, alien things fire at you can't hit you. Obviously they can if they come along and, and hit you then um, you know you're still like finished. Yeah, didn't do very well with that lot. There's an awful lot of paint droplets that I let drop to the ground. Uh, right, fuck it, I'm going to get that power out. So that gives me two-way fire. Uh, really though I want the uh, um, what do you call it? The catalyte uh, spray fire. Doesn't look like I'm going to get it just yet. So, you'll notice that uh, the next colour that I need to get is a sort of purpley pink colour. We can't get that just from getting red. So what you need to do is go down to the next level. This is world 2. Now initially you can only um, reach the first three of each of the uh, realms. And in order to reach like fourth, fifth, sixth, etc. you have to complete uh, the uh, three uh, preceding realms uh, before you are then given access to, to those ones. But on this level, we are picking up green paint, and um, the colour we actually need to mix for this level is brown. Now, to make brown, we need more than green and red. Time to give the cat the uh, cat like the spray shot. Can I pick that one up? Yeah, so now I have the uh, large shots. This is pretty much the um, whiz ball at its uh, most powerful. Um, 
some people don't like giving the cat light the uh, spray shot, but uh, I certainly do because my strategy tends to involve sending the cat light in towards dealing with uh, you know all of the uh, uh, aliens and um, yeah, like that, and letting him deal with it while I keep the actual whiz ball itself uh, out of the way. Now you hear the the uh, cat light sort of making this sort of whining sound that's because he's been hit he can only take so many hits before uh, he, he's dead but that doesn't count to or can, you know act like you've lost a life that just uh, means you need to get another one from the uh, power-ups as I cleared out those waves another 52 uh, aliens to kill now So now, okay, I'll get these, uh, that's actually the green pot filled, so let's go back to level 1, green doesn't actually contribute anything towards the uh, colouring of this level, so okay, let's go back to 2 and then we want to go on to 3, now there's only one entrance to level uh, 3 from here, and it's not the easiest to get to, either. Right, I want that one, but I don't really want to get any more of the uh, ore things. Because, oops, that now means I've got... Yeah, it's, it's currently positioned so that uh, if I lose my catalyte, I'll also, you know, I just need to do one quick waggle of the joystick and I've got it back again. This is a bit of a waste of these paint drops because I can't get any more green. I've already got the maximum. Here is the entrance to level 3, as you can see by the up arrow. And that tells you that you're going up to level 3. Here we are. Now level 3 drops, uh, gives you blue paint. I don't want to pick up that purple one. That um, you takes the cat and sends in bloody barmy and you can't do anything with it until um, it's been destroyed and then you can get another one and it drives you around the bend now I suspect this video is going to go on for quite some time uh, so this could turn into a bit of a uh, Lucosa extended play um, I really don't like having to stop halfway through. So I say this is. Ah, oh, you fucking idiot! I didn't want to pick that up. But on this level, um, blue is the first colour you need. So by picking up all the blue, and ah oh, shit, I started off a raid, and yeah, uh, I was never gonna stand much chance there. Right, so you will see that uh, my whiz ball is actually slightly more controllable than normal because I started off with the first power up, so now I only need to pick up one to actually get the uh, ball more under my control. The trouble is, starting on this level means those things that are stationary and supposed to be easy to hit. Yes, okay, they are easy to hit, but they're not always positioned in a place that makes them easy to collect the orbs that they leave behind. I'll take that. Got that orb. Right, there's one left, and he's back over here. Okay, now he's easy to get the uh, orb for. Pick up the double fire. Alright, let's try this again. I'm pretty close to uh, finishing level 3. Take me a little bloody ages though if I carry on playing like that. But there we go. Alright, that's level 3 done. Or well, at least the first uh, colour is a level 3 uh, picked up. Oh, I can't pick up that one. Uh, I, I don't know why, but okay. I was about to say I'll try and 
and do a bit better on the uh, bonus stage, but uh, it went horribly wrong. Okay, so I picked up the uh, selected my next uh, permanent power up, and that allows me to uh, start off with um, well, basically uh, full mobility now. So to find the next colour, and it's now a paler blue. So I need helps if I can actually shoot any of these things. So there's more blue there, and I've missed almost every single one of them. <laughs> I didn't pick up hardly any fucking thing there. And I didn't pick that one up either. Okay, I got that one. Uh, they would be handy, but... They're in a real bastard place. Oh, fuck it. I didn't do him any favours. Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, I don't think that was uh, one that I wanted to get. But these are. When it's positioned there, you can't even hit it. Let alone pick up the thing that it will leave. Now, a small amount of green means that uh, I can then make the uh, shade of blue that I need to get the second colour here. And because my green uh, pot is absolutely full, uh, that means I'll have no problem doing that. Okay, oh, there's no way I can pick up that orb, it's stuck there. That's about the only fault I have with the game, is that it does sometimes do that, and it is bloody irritating. <laughs> right, now I have got the two-way fire and I wasn't looking where I was going, so... This go is clearly not going to be quite as long as I thought it might, because I'm already down to my last life. Now, obviously, I already have the uh, full control. So, the first thing I pick up is the catalyte. Then I'll get the horizontal beams. Uh, fuck it, I'll get the two-way fire. Now the last one's back over here, and yeah, again, he's embedded in that thing, so... Yeah, even if I could hit him, I wouldn't be able to get the orb for it. Same there. How about now? Okay, right, that's a bit better. There we go. So, 38 left on this level. Oh, you fucking muppet. That's game over. That was a atrocious go. I usually do a hell of a lot better than that. But, um, I guess, you know, for the sake of the video, at least uh, it being that short means the video doesn't go on for an eternity. Um, but that is... Uh, Whizball. Now, as I say, um... If I'm in the right mood, I think it's the best shoot map on the Commodore 64. Otherwise, that one still goes to Revenge 2. But no matter you know what, it is still a phenomenal um, shooter. Um, now I forgot to mention actually that you can have two-player, which is you know just all turn and goes, or you can have two-player team where the second player takes control of the catalyte. Um, but yeah, I mean, I can't fault it. Graphically, it's stunning. Um, Sound-wise, okay, the fire sound, you know, sound when you fire can be a bit grating at times, but uh, you can ignore that. Everything else about the sound is superb. Um, gameplay, say so the only gripe I have is when you, uh, 
you know, some signs are trying to collect it all, but you can't get it because it's stuck in, uh, you know, part of the background. So that's the only issue I have. Otherwise, the gameplay again is fantastic. Um, how do I rate it? Oh, I mean, it easily makes nine and a half out of ten. If I was in the right mood, I'd give it a ten out of ten. But yeah, I will. It's, it's a ten out of ten. It's it's that good. Um, say so it's not just a good retro game. It's a it's a good game. It's what I still play it today. So. Uh, not quite faultless, but bloody close to it. Um, quite simply, get it now. So that's uh, that's Whizball. 10 out of 10. Uh, we shall see you at the next video.